Thank you for the help. You're free now. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to Nothing plunder. there. Nothing there. Nothing there. So if you click on your summoned minions, you will unsummon Nothing them. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be Nothing had there. there. Nothing to be had there. are done for. You have saved my life. Who are you? My name is Elvridge. I come from town. Master Thorben told me that you had disappeared. Those lowly scum dragged me off here and were keeping me prisoner. What exactly happened to you? I was on my way to the rendezvous I had set up with my girl. Her name is Lucia. We had been planning to get away to the mountains and away from the town and all those who live there. I had just arrived at the meeting point, when suddenly, some of these bandits sprang out from the underbrush and captured us both. I put up a fight, of course, but to no avail. There were just too many of them. You didn't happen to see them. Tell me about Lucia. A girl from the Harbor District. She used to work for that horrible Bromor. She's very pretty. What did the bandits want with you? Sometimes I could overhear them at night. I didn't get everything, but I think they wanted to make us slaves. Where were they going to take you? To a place somewhere here, on the island of Corinus, but I think one can't get there without a ship. They brought me to a mooring place on the coast. Some pirates were camped out there. One of the bandits approached the pirates to negotiate. They were having a fierce argument. I think the bandit wanted the pirates to ferry him somewhere, along with me. But the pirates wouldn't have it. So, the bandits withdrew, and we've been sitting around here ever since. They seemed to be rather at a loss, and then you came. Where's the pirates' mooring place? Not far from the harbor of Corinus. When you stand on the quay and look out to the sea, all you need to do is get a boat and go to the right along the coast. The first small bay you come across is the mooring place I was talking about. Pirates in Corinus? I don't know very much about them. I first clap eyes on one of them at the mooring place. They always stay in the background. Every single one of them is a wanted criminal in Corinus. They're afraid of the gallows. That's why you're never going to meet one of them in town. Where's Lucia now? We parted ways at the big crossroads in front of Onar's farm. The bandits dragged Lucia off to the woods behind Sekhop's farm. May Enos protect her. Did the bandits who held you captive receive a shipment of weapons? Oh yes, so many that they could barely carry them. They took the whole caboodle and disappeared towards Sekhop's farm. Bromor says Lucia walked off with a golden dish. Well, if Lucia really stole from Bromor, 
The bandits will certainly have taken the thing from her. I found a letter from Ulysses. What? Give it here. No, I don't believe this. No, I just can't believe it. She just can't leave me behind like this. Take this letter back. I don't want it. I firmly believe that she's going to come back to me someday. You should get yourself back to town in a hurry. What else would I be doing? I'm going straight back to my master Thorben. Will you go look for the bandits? Well, yes, I think so. If you find Lucia, get her safely back to town, will you? I'll see what I can do. Okay, with all of that, it's time to go back to town. And probably do some stuff on the way. Maybe deal with more bandits. Hey, you! The militia are gone, and Balthazar can use your land again. Why? Because I said so. Hmm, alright, whatever you say. Let him find a place for his beast somewhere behind the field. Do you really believe that? Take care. You too.
So at this point... I do have some minor stuff left to finish, but I can pretty much join any guild now. But before I do that, I want to clean some stuff. And by stuff, I mean... Clean the map as much as possible. Now, I don't think I've explained the combat moves that I'm using, but you can see me spamming forward attack. That's because as soon as I attack forward, I let go of the focus button and move slightly to the right. Moving to the right cancels the forward attack, forward animation after the attack. This way I'm attacking slightly faster. And most of the time it staggers enemies effectively. So after I'm done cleaning the map, I can have an ultimate save where I can just reload and replay every single guild without having to replay the first part of the game. That's what I usually like to do. Now, I said it many times and I have to say it again. You really don't have to clean the whole map like I do. You can always join a guild whenever you want, do some of the quests later clear some of the locations later, kill some enemies later. You don't have to do everything that I'm doing. And the same way that I'm doing it. Because I like to have what I like to call ultimate save, I'm saving so many learning points so that I can invest them whenever I want into one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, bows, magic, whatever I want or need. But if you decide to play with two-hander from the start, or bow, or crossbow, or magic, you can start investing into that right away. And have much easier time in the game. Because you will kill stuff faster. Like, if I was doing a single playthrough with a single faction, I would have probably invested in one thing right from the start. Let's say two-handers. I could have invested in two-handers or one-handers and joined paladins or mercenaries in the same save file. Maybe even melee mage, because why not?
Yeah, get away from here! I want to join you. I heard you really gave it to the militia. We could use someone like you here. So now that they passed Torlov's test, they have a new dialogue, which is really cool. You can bring your sheep back to Bengar's pastures. I've talked to him. Thank you. I'll be right on my way. Here, take these sheepskins as a token of my appreciation. Thank you.
I fought four lizards here, so I'm just gonna cut some of the fights out. can shoot the bandits from there. I love this place. Such a nice lookout.
lots of grave names here. sword black ore paladin two-hander Now, just behind this cave is Zardes' tower. So I'm gonna cheat to show it. So you see the, the cave that collapsed behind Zardes is the one with zombies.
Now here I'm gonna fight bandits the melee way. But again, if you have issues, there's always goblin skeleton, normal skeleton, maybe some other spells.
You're in for it now. You're in for it now. Nothing there. About those stone tablets, I've got some. Thank you. That's enough. Now I could keep my promise to the water mage in town and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me if you like. Maybe I can sell you a few things that might interest you when we get there. Wait a minute. Show me your wares. I can't sell you anything. All my stuff lies over there, under the bridge, lad. I can only sell you something once I get home. So his home is at that water pond where two waterfalls are. 
where are those two mercenaries, and one of them is called Buster. He also has a cool amulet on sale, so if you are a strength enjoyer, you may want to check it out. I'm gonna visit him soon, but I wanna go to town first. Maybe get some spells. There are like, I don't know, seven wargs here. 
I could try to bait them one by one, kill them one by one, but... Eh, maybe later. Show me your wares. So I want... I will need fire rain anyway at some point, so I'll buy it. I'll need at least one ice block. Summon demon is always good. Red tear pepper. I'm gonna need this for a quest. Divine Power of the Stars. I'm gonna need this for a quest, but I'm not gonna buy it yet. I made some tobaccos for this guy. I've got a new tobacco blend. I'm gonna give him honey the last, because that's the one he likes the most. Let me try your tobacco. No, I'm afraid this mixture does not agree with me. But maybe you'll find somebody else who really appreciates this. Uh, Delicacy. I've got a new tobacco blend. Let me try your tobacco. No, I'm afraid this mixture does not agree with me. But maybe you'll find somebody else who really appreciates this. I've got a new... Let me try your tobacco. This tastes incredible. I've never had a better smoke in my life. How did you prepare this blend? I mixed the tobacco with honey. You have done well, father of the art of blending. I would be delighted to fill my miserable pipes with this. Fill her up then. Thank you, son of generosity. No other blend could be as good as this one. I shall buy every bit you can bring me of this. Can you make me another prophecy? Oh, son of the mysterious future, only... Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Do I have Oblivion? I do. Awesome. I'm gonna need it. Get out of my bed! Now during the night time. It's no secret. I want to beat this guy. Put away that weapon. Put away that weapon. That's not what I heard. Will you put away that damn weapon? You asked for it. Thank you. 
his key for later. Oh man, my head. Wait a minute. Leave me alone, you filthy brute. Wait until Lord Andre hears of this. So now I'm gonna cast Oblivion. He will forget what happened. Wait a minute. And? Do you have anything else to tell me? Leave me alone. It's all good now. Hey, thanks for saving me. Hey, you. Eldritch will work for you again from now on. I can only hope that he won't disappear again when the next little tart waves her skirt at him. Take this gold as a reward for bringing back my apprentice. I met Valentino, and I gave him a sound beating. <laughs> he deserved it. Here, I found this ring on him when our little disagreement had been settled. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who beats him up. Has anything exciting happened? And then, an honest citizen actually brought that stolen bow back to Bosper. That's odd. You'd think it's everyone for himself in times like these. But this man just drops in and returns that bow. So he gave me Valentino's ring. There it is. Weapon protection three. Unable to pay his bar tab last night. He was blathering something about having been robbed and paying me later on. Like, really? And what did you do? Well, I, I gave him a good thrashing. What else? And you can give Valentino's drink to this guy. Here, take this ring. What? I don't understand. It used to belong to Valentino. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who tans his hide. But so great was the wrath of Beliar when he came across the land and chose the beast. And Beliar spoke to it, and the beast became his subject. around for out here. Go on in and meet our passionate Nadja. This hot creature of the night will give your life a new meaning. Okay, let's meet that uh, hot creature of the night. I found the dish that Lucia stole from you. Great! High time I got it back. Don't you want to know what became of Lucia? No, why? 
I have got the dish back, haven't I? I have managed without Lucia so far, and I will in the future. Why would I try to make her come back? Huh? What about a reward? You'll get to have a good time with one of my girls for free. What do you say, huh? Agreed. Here's your dish. Thanks. Go to Nadja. She'll accompany you upstairs. Hey. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. So can we talk now? We've got enough privacy up here. Bromar doesn't like to see us talk to guests during work if there's nothing in it for him. So you want to know more about the people who disappeared down here at the harbor, do you? I don't know whether I can help you much, but at least I can tell you what became of Lucia. Where did she disappear to? She used to see a lot of Elveridge, the apprentice of Thorben, the carpenter from the lower part of town. I bet she's up and left with that young man. Where could the two of them have gone? If the wolves didn't meet them, I suppose they went to stay with the farmers. That's no secret. Where else would they go? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. What else do you know? I've heard many stories about people who disappear down here at the harbor, but I'm not so sure whether I should believe them. You should have a chat with the merchants down here. That's all I can tell you, alas. Now, what about the two of us, sweetie? You paid for it, after all. Wouldn't you like to have a little fun before you leave? I don't believe it. Now, in the cutscene, this uh, fireplace was here, on this spot. So, they probably either used this bed, or... That cutscene was made for gothic sequel because if you take a look at girl's hair during this uh, romance cutscene, she looks a lot like character from gothic sequel. So guys, meet Thora. This lady was one of the important characters in gothic sequel. The game that was in development in between Gothic 1 and 2. I think she was also a playable character. You could play with her or ask her at some point. And she also used a staff as main weapon. And she even had an interesting moveset with that staff. So I think that this cutscene here Someone's was actually a cutscene that was made for Thora from the gothic sequel. Just like the first cutscene. The first starting cutscene in this game. He can't keep anything to himself. Nobody ever asks for my opinion. Go away, don't tell me that. Do you really think? I never knew that. 
That's terrible. It was just like you said. Why haven't I heard about this before? You listened to the wrong people. It was just Show like me your fish. Give me all your lockpicks.
Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? I wanted to... There's nothing here to see. Now move along. I want to get aboard the ship. No one may enter the ship. I have my orders. I shall kill anyone who enters the ship without authorization. In the name of Innos, I shall defend the ship with my life. Now, there is a way to get onto the ship now. So it's time for some shenanigans. Here, I don't want to get caught by paladins. I'm gonna wait for that guy to go back. I want to get this. Totally don't see me here. It's all good. Okay, I'm in. Amazing. And now down here are some potions. More rat fat.
A ring? And most importantly, one of these potions was a strength potion. And now it's time to leave. Totally unseen. Paladins never saw that. gonna sleep in this guy's bed that's all just gossip and then beat him up He has a ledger. Also, I'm gonna go in his house. Loot whatever I can. Wait a minute. All right, you win. What do you want? Militia and paladins, they don't care what happens to people here in the harbor, so I don't need to cast Oblivion spell on this guy. Now, in his ledger, he has names of people who owe him money. So there's Thorben, Corrigan, and Hannah. So he has a blood chalice. And I need that for the Thieves Guild quest. 
There are six of them. Uh, what's the matter? I'm not that. So now I have a choice to give the book to this guy. I've got Lamar's ledger right here. Where did you get that? That shouldn't interest you so much as the fact that your name is in it. Give it to me. What will you give me then? I have no money to spare and can give you nothing but my heartfelt gratitude. Can you sell me some lockpicks? If I have any left. Then I can get the book back. What I have here. Hmm? But and this is Lamar's ledger. What are you planning to do with that? Here's the book. Thanks. You saved my butt. Lamar can get rather ugly. Here, take this as a reward. It's the very last drop. Show me your wares. And then I can get the book back again. I can even get Valentino's ring back. So he gave me another beer that gives me more life and mana. And then I can give the book back to this lady. Look what book I have here. Lamar's ledger. How did you get hold of that? Well... If Lamar doesn't have it anymore, that's a good thing. But I'd rather have it myself. Here, take the book. Thanks. Take this as a reward. What is this you've given me? It is a key to the gate of wealth. Gate of Wealth doesn't say too much, but I'll go to that place soon. Listen, you can't be serious, can you? You're bagging our gold. You're trying to steal from us. 
Don't get all worked up over a couple of coins. I mean, this bit of stuff here, is that all of your booty? That's all the Thieves Guild of Corinus has to offer? Who says our booty is stored down here? I couldn't quite believe that either. So where did you hide your treasures? In a very safe place. I see. All right, you can keep the gold, but I'll keep an eye on you. So don't overdo it. Now, there's a locked door here in the sewers, but I need a key from one of the Thieves Guild members. So, I'll get it eventually and open the door. Probably in chapter 3, if not sooner. Or later. We'll see. Okay, I want to go inside and get the key from that guy upstairs. Before I do that, there is a quest I've been debating whether I should complete it or not. And it's this quest, a good fighter. Cord will give me his vote once I've learned to fight better. To finish this quest, I need 30% crit chance with either one-handed or two-handed weapons. The quest will give me 100 experience, and I have to invest 10 to 20 learning points into it. And I've decided, for the sake of completion, I will do it. The reason why I was so hesitant is because I wanted to have a save before joining any guild without too much investments. But... By doing this, I'm also gonna show you some cool stuff, and yeah, I've decided I'm gonna do it. What do you want here? Go! What do you- Smart kid! So, I need this guy's weapon back. I wanna fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Come here. Then let's see what you can do. I'm also gonna take his gold to show you his other dialogue. head oh man you packed quite a punch i see you already took your gold you could have waited until i gave it to you i keep my word i want to fight against you first give me back my sword then we'll see i've got your sword good i'm curious whether you'll dare to challenge me again and then you can do this again i want to fight against you do you have 50 gold pieces for even more gold here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are... Are you ready? Come in. Then let's see what... Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. Ah. Ah. a boy. Oh. Ah. Ah, 
Ah, oh, my head. Oh, man. You packed quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. Now I'm gonna keep his weapon. And you'll see why in a moment. Now, check this out. I have 10% crit chance. And I am a rookie in one-handed fighting. So, I'm gonna train twice for one-handed weapons. Now I have 20. With this weapon, I have 25. And this is my moveset. This is the rookie moveset. So, attacking forward and attacking left and right. If I equip this sword now, I'm gonna have 30% and I'm now a fighter. So, with a fighter rank, I have unlocked a new moveset. This is how it looks when you attack forward. This is how it looks when you attack left and right. And what's cool is that if I unequip this weapon now, I go back to Rookie. I have 20% now. But if I equip any other weapon, I still keep the fighter moveset. So even if I'm not a fighter anymore because I downgraded, I still keep that moveset. The guards on the gates are which is amazing the law in the sense and in order to obviously with this weapon i have 30 percent which means i'll be able to get this quest without investing too too much Now, I still want the key from that guy, but let's do some swimming.
there are lots of barrels here. Where is that guy going? I'm really curious where that guy went. Oh, there he is. Hmm. 
Now, when enemies are swimming, they can't attack you. So, if you can keep them in deep water, you can actually use that to your advantage. reason why I came here maybe you see it maybe not but it's over here and it has a lizard inside Sometimes you may find one of the lizards dead here. The reason for that is because this here is a trap. To turn off the trap, you can use this torch. And this here is where the Thieves' Guild keeps all of their loot. Here there's a statue of Inos. You may remember that there was a lady in the harbor who said that thieves have stolen her statue. So there's the statue. This chest here I'll never get this open requires a key. key. Now if you remember Hannah, the lady that owns an inn next to the barracks in Corinis, she gave me a key. But her key is actually in a satchel. There's a satchel, the leather bag, and it says Hannah gave it to me. So there's a key and some lockpicks. And with that key, you can open this chest.
I'm also gonna open all of this. Now I want to go back to Thieves Guild and check if they have some reaction to this. I don't remember that they do, but I'll do it just in case. But before I go there, I can visit our boy Skip. Because now I should have a new dialogue with him. I know plenty of men with eye patches. There's someone roaming the land of Corinus who seems to know you rather well. Can't imagine who. I have no dealings with landlubbers. But... Leave it be. I'm really not interested. Now, I've said it before. I'm not gonna give him his package yet. And you'll see why. Where did you take those people? I already told you. I'm not going to tell you where our bay is. I didn't show this before, but if you want to leave the chests quicker, as soon as you leave, you can pull out your weapon and just cancel that animation faster. Now this way, there's another beach that I haven't explored before. So it's time to do it now.
Nothing to be had there. And that should be it here. Now, there's a door here that I still can't open. I'll never get this because open one of the, the right thieves key. has a key. So where are you hiding your loot? Come on, you didn't really think I would tell you that. You'll have enough opportunity to get your hands on some loot of your own. Remember, those who are too greedy end up with nothing. Hey, you! You know what? I'm actually gonna learn stealth. Hey, you! Teach me the art of stealth. Sneaking is essential for every thief. Above all, when you're moving around in somebody else's house. Don't just tramp on in like that. Most people sleep very lightly. Only when you sneak around will no one hear you. And you can work unhindered. So this is how sneaking looks like. 
Now I'm gonna go to Vatris and I'm gonna give him my five stone tablets. But I do have to mention, if you want to min-max stuff like that, then don't give him your stone tablets right now. You want to give him all of them at once. Because for each stone tablet above 10, you will get an equal amount of mana. So if you give him 25 old stone tablets, you will get 25 maximum mana. There are 28 of them in the game. I gave 3 to the merchant, I'm gonna give 5 now to Vatris, so there are 20 left. And I'm gonna be okay with 20 bonus mana. Instead of 25 or 28. About those missing people. Yes? I know where the missing people are. What have you found out? A man named Raven dragged them off to a remote part of Corinus. What makes you so sure? I read his orders. He's got the local bandits working for him. Here. Good. You did a great job. I had feared that we might have to resign ourselves to never knowing. I'm also gonna give him the tablets. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people, and that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. Great! Here, take a few spell scrolls as a reward. Now from Constantino... I'm gonna get the plants back. Show me your... So I want goblin berries... For dexterity potions... Fire Root for permanent mana potions. King Sorrel also for permanent potions. And Dragon Root for permanent strength potions. He also has Divine Power of Stars. Just like Zurus. The Divine Power of Stars, when you read it, gives you mana. Hey, you! Thanks for saving me. And when it comes to other old stone tablets, there are more of them on this map. Really? I did walk past few of them. One of them it's kinda hard to get now. But I will get them eventually. Show me your fit. Nobody wants to know. Let's go you give the lady her statue back. Look, I've got a statue of Inos for you. Oh, thank you. Very, very much. May Inos let his light shine on you. Yeah, never mind. Now, one of these houses... Let me see which one it is. This one has a lockpick. Only 
Now, I'm not gonna tell this guy nor Vatress about Weapons Dealer yet, because the Weapons Dealer Fernando has a quest for me later. So first, I wanna complete his quests and then finish this quest about Weapons Dealer. Then I'm gonna send him to jail. Tharam the Fisherman has problems with the militia. The boys are constantly stealing from him. And what do I have to do with it? You have a certain amount of influence up here with the Paladins. Faram needs your protection. He's willing to give you a part of his catch for it. I see what you mean. Fish. As if I didn't have enough crap to deal with. Tell your pal he should come to me and tell me exactly what's up with the militia. I'll take care of it. I've heard a thing or two. All the crates still there? Don't touch anything or I'll call the watch. Got it? I mean, it's not like I can send Fernando to jail yet, but I'm just gonna avoid that for now until I do his quests. You can open all the clams, get stuff from them. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. Hey! I know how to resolve your trouble with the militia. And how would that be? Martin, the provisions master of the Paladins, wants to hear your story about the militia and the fish. And you think he can make the militia leave me alone? At least, that's what he said. Great, thank you. I cannot give you much, but wait. I found this strange blue stone on one of the islands off the coast of Corinus. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but someone like you will certainly find a use for it. So, how are the fish biting? I've seen better times. Too little to live on, too much to die. Show me your wares. This guy has some really cool transformation spells. You can use them to kill some strong enemies. You know what? Let me show it. How 
However, if you level up while being transformed, you won't get those bonus hit points from level ups. Scummy beasts. And of course, you have different stats as an animal. As you can see, this one has 200 strength, dexterity, lots of life, no mana, and pretty good resistances. 150 for weapons, 150 for projectiles, 150 for dragon fire, but zero for magic. So, what was your business in there, huh? There's another of those scummy beasts. Come here, you filthy beast. Okay, now... I'm gonna need... Oblivion spell. Also want to do this during night time. Really? I don't have to talk to that. So this guy has a key. If I had pickpocketing and higher dexterity, I could just pickpocket the key. But since I don't have it, I'm gonna improvise. Put down you'll regret this. that weapon got <laughs> a boy So this is the key that I want. Let's see his reaction when he gets up. Oh, my head. Wait a minute. I'll have nothing to do with nasty thugs. Go to Lord Andre while you still can. 
How about some oblivion, sir? Wait a minute. Okay, we're good. Why haven't I heard about this before? I hardly know what to do about that. What's the matter? The reason why I wanted his key was to open this tower. Hey, thanks, man. I mean, thank you, really. And there I was thinking I'd never get out of here. What are you doing here? I got locked in. The door was open, and all I wanted to do was have a little look -see. But as soon as I was inside, the guard came and locked the damn door. This is, uh... Somewhat embarrassing. <laughs> I'd be very grateful if it could just remain between you and me. I understand that wasn't exactly something to be proud of. <sighs> I think I need a drink now. There's also a nice weapon in this tower. There it is. There's also a drink here on this wall, which probably belongs to Joe. He was probably drinking here, saw the door open, and went into the tower. Now, there are six towers like this one with locked doors in Corinis, and all of them have loot inside. So five of the keys, you can get them from named militia members, such as Wambo, which is in Upper Quarter. Then there's Pablo, this guy right here that patrols. Then there's Peck, the key which I already got. Then there's Ragnar, the guy that always drinks near the barracks. And then there's Ruga, the crossbow guy. And the last key, you get it from barracks, from the chest where you also find a plate that belongs to Maria and Onar. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.